I was floored at how my last video got so much attention. It literally broke 301 views in less than 24 hours, which is a first for me because I'd never gotten that many views before. And it really showed me what I can do with my channel. And so I'm making a little series called Beyond the Binary where I'll be making a bunch of videos or how-tos you might want to call it for transmasculine folks. With that being said, I welcome you to the first video of the series. Before even starting your transition or even coming out to friends and family, there comes the all-important question, how do you know you're trans? Unfortunately, no one can really give you the answer, and while this video is a good starting point, ultimately you'll have to look inside yourself and draw your own conclusions from what I'm going to say in this video. However, don't panic guys, as Morpheus has says to Neo in The Matrix, I can only show you the door, but you're the one who has to walk through it. So here is a list of things to try or ask yourself, or sleep on it, hey, whatever works for you. Question 1. Do you feel uncomfortable with yourself in some way? Now, I'm not of the camp that you need to have body dysphoria to identify as trans, but there must be some sort of discomfort with yourself currently. Look inside yourself and think about the times that you may have felt discomfort from hearing your birth name, being referred as the your assigned sex, or simply feeling discomfort on wearing the clothes on your back. Those are just general examples, but really look inside yourself and think back on to the past of situations that really should have been taken as no big deal, but they were taken as such and you never really knew why. Two, have you tried experimenting outside your assigned sex? Maybe if you had an inkling that you're trans, but you don't know where to go from here. Try experimenting by wearing things that are not typical of your assigned sex, you know, like wear t-shirts if you've been used to wearing dresses or something like that. Now, I just want to reiterate that you don't have to identify completely as the opposite gender, okay? Uh, transgender is an umbrella term for many different identities underneath that umbrella. Trans men, trans woman, new choice, gender fluid, non-binary, and so many more that I'm going to cover in future videos. It's not black and white, so don't feel like you were just because you were assigned female at birth that you have to identify as a binary trans man. There's varying degrees of gender identity, and you don't have to know the answer right away. Don't rush. I'm definitely an example of that. I mean, it wasn't until really recent that I figured out that I was a non-binary trans masculine person rather than a binary trans man. 3. How do you see yourself in 5 years? This seems like a question that guidance counselors ask college students when figuring out what major they should pursue, but really it does have its purpose. This was something I personally asked myself when I was figuring out or questioning my gender identity. This was before hormones, before coming out, before labels, before anything else. Even when I was like one week away from receiving my first testosterone shot, I even asked myself this question again. Can I see myself as the way I was and do I see a future with the way I was currently presenting? And the truth was I couldn't. Heck, I didn't even think there was a future or any further options worth exploring at that point. I mean, just picture my circumstances right there. I was navigating life as a miserable woman who just lost her job, graduated college, got a rejection letter from her first choice graduate school and literally had no future prospects. My future, if anything, seemed bleak. Question 4. Have you seen or are familiar with other stories of transgender people? If you've gone through the, all the previous prompts uh, in the video and you're still somewhat on the fence, uh, I would definitely check out some other people's narratives or stories and find if you, they're somewhat relatable to you and find like you're identifying or you're finding like similar struggles with other people who are going through somewhat the same similar struggles as you. There's so many stories out there at this point in 2016 that like you'd be hard pressed to not find them some stories that might sound like what you're going through currently. They were certainly helpful for many people and they will definitely be helpful for you to help you figure out whether or not you are trans. It definitely worked for me. I definitely found them particularly helpful because it helped me discover that I was not alone in the world and that there's definitely other people out there with like similar struggles. There's so many people on YouTube and the media that with stories out there of similar transgender people and how they managed to overcome obstacles and be their authentic selves and I should definitely recommend that you go check them out. A couple of people that I would personally recommend is Skylar Kurgill, Alex Bertie, Chandler N. Wilson, and Julie Bamboo. 
And sadly, we have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I put out videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm going to be putting out more content like this, so stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or at least learned something about yourself. Also, feel free to comment below. I'm definitely interested in hearing your thoughts about uh, the video or if you have any questions, I'll definitely reply uh, as soon as possible. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.